Be sure to protect your privacy and grab one of the VPNs listed below. What's going on, guys? We are going to be reviewing the SunPad SR100 Bluetooth soundbar. This is a pretty nice soundbar for what it costs and what all you get. Retails for $95. It's driven by Bluetooth, but you also have four other methods of playing audio. With that, it is 870 millimeters long, 51 millimeters uh, wide and 64 millimeters high so it should fit in front of your TV and as you can see here there's two speakers there's a diaphragm there's another diaphragm and another set of two speakers each speaker is 10 watts so you get 40 watts of output um, at the back of the sticker it says uh, they're, they're 15 uh, watts so you get four of them um, but with the diaphragms are two inch drivers so you get you get quite a pack with the soundbar. And again, if you got a TV with speakers that aim at the back or down below like me, it sucks. Having a soundbar, uh, I love this thing because it is so great. You get a remote, you get a couple cables, which I show later on. You also have uh, buttons on the front here, which display, you got your pause, your power, you got your pause, your volumes. Uh, the only thing is it doesn't display the time like it does uh, show on the advertisement pictures. However, it does display one of the five inputs, whether it's USB, Bluetooth, coaxial, auxiliary, so on and so forth. It does come with wall mounts right on the unit, which is really nice. They're not plastic or anything like that. It's quality built. You also have rubberized feet on the bottom. So if you decide to put this on your TV unit or whatever it may be below your TV or even, you know, under, it won't scratch the surface that you put it on which is really nice I know there is some bars some of them that don't even include that they just have the plastic so you run the risk of maybe scuffing stuff uh, stuff up as you can see here you got your inputs here you got your optical your auxiliary your USB and your coaxial uh, the coaxial is the RCA cables you can go out and buy a single audio run to run it from this to your media device you have all your inputs here uh, obviously it doesn't come with HDMI some sound bars do which is really stupid that they do but you got your five different hookups here. You got four at the back and then you got the Bluetooth. Can't go wrong. And there's the sticker there that tells you what I've already told you about the wattage. Um, now the cool thing about this is they actually include the cables and the cables have some good length to them. So here you have a double-ended 3.5, so you can hook this up to an iPod, uh, you know, iPad or whatever it may be that has, anything that has an audio jack, that is 3.5. You also get the RC cables and an optical. So as you can see how I got an optical cable, the one they give is really thin. You may wanna switch it out for a thicker one. Uh, it's not that long, so you may need a longer one depending on how far you are. There's the RC cables. They give two of these that you can plug into a device and have the 3.5 plugged into that, plugged into the uh, sound bar, or again, you can go out and get a coaxial audio cable. The remote is your standard remote, kind of looks like an Android you know, remote or budget TV remote. You got your power, your mute, your play buttons, and then you have the five different audio inputs of Bluetooth, auxiliary, USB, um, coaxial, and optical. Now, I will say, now the cool thing about this is, is if you have the Bluetooth hooked up to your phone and you're playing Spotify or whatever and you got your phone charging, you can use this remote to change the song. So it will hit it with the device and on the device it obviously toggles through your phone and it will change the song without you touching your phone. And it runs off uh, two AAA batteries. So it's a nice little remote and the max volume for the soundbar again is 35. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to, I am using an iPhone to record this. Okay, so the maybe audio peaks, it may not sound that good to you, uh, judging how bad the audio is. Uh, I may include it from my phone, obviously, because I'm here in my living room. This is running from a media box. I will take it into my setup and run it from uh, a box that I have in there with my Blue Yeti microphone. So you can kind of get an idea how it sounds from the microphone uh, aspect of it. However, I'm in my living room here, so you know you may have stuff on the walls to you know get rid of the bounce of the sound. So I, again, I'm not sure how this is going to do. I have this hooked up via optical audio. You can have it route from any device that has a 3.5 out, a coaxial out, or a Bluetooth, or again the optical audio. Okay. 
And again, the recording on here may not do it justice, but the soundbar sounds so goddamn nice. It is great to have. Let's get into it. The soundbar, uh, or not the soundbar, the Android box is not on high volume, so I'm gonna, you know, increase the volume as the song goes so you can kind of hear it, and then I'm gonna go to a song with a little bit of bass so you can hear it on there. The highest I'm gonna put the Android box is mid volume, so let's listen. There may be audio peaks where it kind of sounds distorted. Again, that's the iPhone. It does not sound like that being right in front of the soundbar or even sitting on your couch. This song has a little bit of bass. Midway sounds really good. Obviously, if you put it up more, you're gonna enjoy it, but you may get a little bit of distortion. That's with any audio uh, hardware. I know the audio's peaking right now on the phone, but this sounds really good in person. So I'm gonna lower the volume, but I just wanted to turn it up so you can kind of get an idea. Kind of get an idea, it sounds really good. Again, I will try and hook this up into my setup and have my Yeti microphone record the sound from the soundboard. Uh, again, before I go into anything else on this review, uh, this may be the end of the video, I'm not sure, because uh, I may splice in again that recording from the microphone, uh, obviously before this. So hopefully it sounds good either way to you. I hope you guys enjoyed this sound test and you know, peace out. If you want, you can uh, click the link below, order this, peace out.